where it began I can't begin to know it But then I know it's growing strong Was in the spring And spring became the summer Hi HS, it's Mr. Durant, your friendly Norwalk, coming at you on the fifth edition of the Teacher Daily Dose COVID-19 Spring Break 2020. Woo! It's so exciting. Spring Break has been awesome. I've journeyed from the bedroom to the living room, outside, uh, took the trash out, did some chores. It's been the best 2020 uh, Spring Break ever. I hope you all been staying safe and practicing social distancing. Since our last episode, we learned that the uh, governor has ended all face-to-face -face instruction for all students in the state. So what does that mean for RHS? Uh, we have a plan that we are submitting to the governor, and when it gets approved, when it gets approved you'll have some sort of distance learning. So uh, that won't probably start until 421, yeah, something like that, but it will just keep looking at emails, uh, remind, uh, classroom, places like that. Okay. Personally, I miss you guys all so much. This virus has taken the life of my friend's dad. Now her mom has it. Uh, her brother, who did the CPR to her father, has it as well. Please be vigilant with washing your hands and not chilling out with the boys. If you want, if you need to see the boys, use Zoom, use FaceTime. You know, just practice social distance. We'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Cole, who was due at the beginning of April, but as of April 7th, 2020, no baby bear. We'll let you know when that cub arrives. First up, we have an update from the Guerrero family. This is Mrs. Guerrero. My girls are doing something with chalk and duct tape. Where'd you get this idea, Jenna? been doing is riding bikes. There's my husband Doug, my daughter Leah, and my other daughter Jenna. And here I am. That was awesome. Mr. Delaney has also been using this time to try to stay active. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, one of the things I decided to get back on track with doing during our time off is get my steps in. So pretty much daily I've been getting about 10 to about 14,000 steps in. And so far I've been pretty good at keeping up at it. And it's been making me feel pretty good as well. So anyway, I just wanted to say hi to you all. I wanted to say I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying safe. Wash your hands, take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other. I miss seeing you all, and I hope we get to see you all real soon. Take care, everybody. Adios. Thanks, Mr. Delaney. Looks like they've been staying active. I have too. I finished my patio. So when we last saw my patio, it was something like, oh, I don't know, um, maybe just a big hole. And now here is, this was one part of it. This is a nine by nine patio with eight inches of gravel, three inches of sand, 
And then the next thing I had to do was put in this retaining wall because the wife wanted that. And we turned this back over here into a flower bed. It's not quite done, but we got some mulch there. Painted our tiki torches. Painted our tiki torches. What else have I been doing? I opened my pond. Um, got the pond going a little. And I started a new thing just yesterday, taking trash out of my garage and trying to ollie over it. Now when I say trash, well, you'll see the clip. I call that the COVID-19 ollie your trash challenge. So if you're a skateboarder or a scooter or a, you know one of those rollerblader people, just go ahead and jump stuff, you know. So every day, like clockwork, Steven rides his Segway over to his grandma's house. We call this Meals on Wheels, delivering his grandma breakfast and lunch. She lives three blocks away. But you would think that this is breakfast, but it's not because it's like 12 o'clock and you know all these other videos that we've seen with our families um their kids are up and doing cool stuff no nope, my kids sleep until about three o'clock and they eat constantly from the hours of like 10 p.m to like 2 a.m the sucker family has also been staying busy hey bears mrs sucker here i really miss all of you i hope you're staying safe taking this quarantine seriously we all got to stay healthy both emotionally and physically, emotionally, mental health is very important. Get up, open your blinds, take a shower, do that. Uh, make sure you eat some nutritious food. Make sure that you have some fun and make sure that you get some rest too. So one of the things I've done while I've been in quarantine, gotten more exercise than I ever have. I think that's all that's enough. Bears, I want to introduce you to my other daughter. Oh, first, my dog, Daffodil. She's 15, and she loves the quarantine because she gets all the attention she could possibly want, even getting dressed up. And this is my lovely daughter, Emily. Mom, I'm in class. She attends Michigan Zoom, I mean, State University has a really tough schedule, and she loves us all being around always making sure we're very quiet crossfit and online learning seems like another covid 19 challenge i know you're all excited to do crossfit and that online learning right great try great time to try new things mr and mrs kane are flattening the curve and are at their cabin in the manistee national forest let's take a look hi everybody mrs kane and mr kane here uh, are we social distancing? Absolutely. But not from each other. We are not in wind-up. We're at our little cabin in the woods. And are we social distancing? Absolutely. Watch this. I don't think you can get any farther away than that. In the last clip that... Mr. Kane and I shared with you, we were staying at um, my family cabin, which my father built, and it's in Manistee National Forest. My dog, Buddy, and I, there's Buddy. Say hi, Buddy. 
uh, we're out for a walk. So this pathway on both sides of the road was once a railroad grade. And this railroad grade, my grandfather was a lumberjack. Walking past the cabin, all the land that you see behind and on the side of it belongs to my family. These beautiful red pines were not always here. The land that my grandfather lumberjacked was so clear that they needed to plant more trees. America's been through some really tough times, you guys. And one of those tough times was the Great Depression. And that's when my grandfather worked and lumberjacked. And that's when these trees were built, or built, planted. That's when these trees were planted. A, an organization was started by the president called the CCC, Civilian Conservation Corps. And these folks, it was jobs created for people that were unemployed. And these folks planted all these beautiful red pines. They are everywhere in the forest. And you know, America made it through that Great Depression and we're gonna make it through this too. Please, you need to stay home, you need to stay safe, and you need to stay healthy. Till later, bye-bye. Now to end this episode, Mr. Hinder wanted to make his students feel like they were back in his classroom. So roll that clip. Clean up! Clean up! Touch me, I won't touch you.